Ah, cheer. Okay, follow back. There we go. Guys, we did it. His name was written really weirdly. <laughs> Alright, hunt with Lithuanians. Lithuanians. Uh, hunt's not bad here. Hunt is definitely not bad here. Oh, look at the sheeps. Look at the sheeps. We might even do some scouts this game. I'm thick and feeling it. Overlay? No, overlay's fine. Good stuff. No melee? It's random sieve, buddy. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay. I like hunts. Satsi isn't as good as before. Yeah, that's the big problem. That's kind of why I stopped liking them. I used to love playing them. It used to be one of my favorite civs. Good economy, really mobile, strong units. But now with CA being trash and early castle, it just feels like it's so underwhelming to play them. I even lost a vill last game. I told you guys, losing a vill is not that big a big deal if you're not going to be doing any aggressive uh, plan. If you're doing an aggressive plan, losing a vill is pretty bad. If you're just playing on booming, it's fine. Unless your opponent's also booming, then it's bad. Okay, there's a his sheep. We'll just leave him there. I usually get only one woodline on this map, but this is actually a this is actually a pretty thick woodline, so I'm actually quite happy with it. But I still don't have any, any other woodlands. It's pretty sad. Hello there, my friends. What's up, dude? Does he think we fought? We, we didn't fight at the same time. We didn't fight at the same time. I will win this one, I promise you. I, I got the first hit clearly, right? Yeah. He ran away. I clearly got the first hit there. I always second guess myself in those things though. It's so critical. Why don't hands have a good eco? Isn't there only eco bonus, no houses? Uh, yeah, no houses, but uh, you save build time and uh, and the, the wood on it, so it actually ends up being a really strong eco bonus for one v one. And you never get housed, which is really good for humans, right? Every human gets housed from time to time, so not having the the, the downside of getting housed here and there it just makes hands a super smooth civilization. Really strong for one TC uh, plays as well. I missed playing Alien game. It has been a while, actually. Maybe we should get that going sometime. Maybe tomorrow. I'll have a day off tomorrow. I can definitely fit a, uh, fit a game of Aliens or two. I do like that game. Going uh, to ships in two lakes. Yeah, I will start fishing the lakes here soon. I'll start with one lake and then move on to, to the second. Good. Scouting me out, which is fine. Should I open some scouts here? Yeah, scouts for Lithuanian seems decent. I would say Lithuanians is a better sieve than Huns on this map these days, though. They have such a strong opening. But Huns opening is quite strong as well, so I really can't complain. Really cannot complain. Alright, he's uh be fishing on this lake. He's got he's got loom. Not sure he has loom. That's really weird to me. It feels like he got housed and had the loom, maybe? Not sure actually. Yeah, it feels like maybe he got housed. Only explanation I can find. Otherwise I have no idea. Bringing a second boron now. Do one more villager and I'll click up 20 villagers. That should be a really reasonable time. If you want to find the roach, I'll donate $100. Do it, donate $100 first, then I'll do it. I'm not falling for your scams again. Someone offered me $500 for hitting rank 1. I do it in like 2 days. The guy just completely forgets about that fact. Doesn't even address it. Unbelievable. You guys are scammers. You guys are absolute scammers. Two lakes? That's greedy, mister. That's very greedy. 
We can punish that in land play. If he doesn't full wall, he's gonna be in, a, in for a world of pain. He must full wall. Two lakes already. I low-key scammed Hera, 10k potato points is nothing for a follow. I think I should make it 20k to be honest. I think I'm gonna increase it. I think I'm gonna increase it to 20k, but uh, Skydiver, it's fine. Don't don't stress it. Don't feel like you scam me. You guys scam me on a daily basis, it's fine. And I scam you guys back as well. It's a, it's a very, uh, very weird relationship, but it somehow works. It's not toxic at all. Alright, he sees my barracks. Good scouting on his part. It's gonna be very important for him. I should make a mana arm to throw him off, honestly. He's actually gonna go for mana arms himself. Can I make a militia to throw him off? Do I mind game with that? Ah. Seems like it just seems it just sounds dumb, you know what I mean? No, oh, not a range! Stable. He's trying to sneak my, my lake potentially here. He might do that. That guy's fresh meat for me. That girl, rather. Builder isn't perfect, mind you. Fresh meat. Oh, he kept the scout around. Nice. All, all the scout did is let, let himself get slapped as well. Oh, that's bad. Not, not terrible, but it's not great. Don't want to celebrate too much yet because still has more fish than us most likely. Thanks to the subs, guys. I don't have time to thank the names yet, but uh, I do appreciate these. Yeah, it's not gonna do much. I should just go back, think of the future, think of the kids. I need to get Soundwash, but I'm not even walled. Like, full balls. Full balls. Bloodlines? Two stables, fellas. Not second bear. Nice, that was really good for him. One bill, it's not not a big deal.
Hmm, do I want to go forward now? I think I actually want to go forward to the tower. Really pressure that gold crap, potentially. Yeah, let's maybe go all in here. Go for all in uh, feudal. Probably gonna be really dumb, but let's let's try it. Not bad. That's really good for him though. Good awareness. Not sure if he scattered it beforehand or what, but... Yeah, that's a big problem. I feel like I need to idle to go up now. I feel like I haven't done enough damage. I'm not really gonna be able to deal with uh, with knights now. It looks like he wants to go pikemen anyway. Yeah, it looks like he wants to go pikes. Kind of committed to. See if I can survive now. Survive the onslaughts. Most likely not. We'll trade versus the pikes here. Yeah? Actually decent. Yeah, he's not gonna go pike man. Uh, the key is to continue attacking now actually. But he's not stupid. He's just gonna attack me. Defended these guys. Oh, nice. Oh, oh, that's really bad. That's what really hurts here. But what happened on the land was, the land was fine, but that's what really hurts. That's what really hurts me. Kind of committed to the 1TC as well. Kind of, it, it kind of sucks when you're 1TC and you rely on a, on a certain bit of economy and now that economy gets ripped from your... This. Not a bad trade with my spears, though. I have to just do a lot of damage to him now on the land. The only way. 
That was really bad. Yeah, I have to keep up. I have to make sure those... Uh, nice, good play. Really good play from him. How did he see that? Oh, he potatoed. Okay. This game is very interesting right now. Very, very interesting. I can see why he's already winning. Why does he want to risk adding a second town center? That seems like very risky to me. Now I can actually lose, I think. We'll see if I may. I have to be able to punish it though. I don't think you're allowed to add a second TC there if, you, if you're an NBL here though. Let's see, I have to be able to punish it, but I think if I, I think he gave me the best chance I was I was gonna get by adding that. I think had he not added it, I would have had zero chance. But now I might have some chance. He's gonna start by taking off, taking away the stock, and trying to snipe some uh, some monks, and then I can try uh, just zoning in on him. Very nice walls. He's playing really sharp, guys. He's playing really sharp. Well done, man. Well done. I think there's still a hole here, though. He's gonna wall him in. <laughs> Sick. Sick, dude. I'm gonna start by taking out the dock, and then I can try playing uh, a bit later uh, on him. On the rest of his base, because that dock will, will kind of take away a lot of his fish where he's getting his eco from. That renders a lot of his fish useless. Oh, almost got both. Got one though. Okay, gonna wait for Iron Casting and then try and take a fight. He also might be picking up relics. He has no relics yet, though. But that's something to watch out for one day. Lithuanians with their relic bonus, obviously. Got the barracks, perhaps. Yeah, that's dangerous. Nice, that's a free monk. Let's see. I think adding the fourth table was very overzealous from my end. I don't think I could ever engage that with the monks there. Not sure. I have to take some sort of risks though. Maybe with the scouts coming in from the back. That's gonna be my best chance. Yeah, maybe this is my best chance. Got pikeman upgrade. But I have a really good engagement here. Yeah, the scout play was huge for me. That's that's huge. Killing two monks? Oh that's that's GG. That is GG. I'm in a mind stone. That was a really nice play. Now it's falling apart for him. Yeah, I can go back to heal though. I'm just kind of hovering the monastery with these scouts. Yeah, this is what I wanted. Ah, oh, gonna get it though. He 
he's destroyed. Now I'm saving up for a castle. Very nice game so far, though. Very, very nice game. And I don't think he's playing bad, honestly. Still don't even think it's 100% over. Is that a third town center? Yeah, I think he's adding town centers at the wrong time. I think he's... He, he kind of under... He kind of disrespected my push, like... He underestimated it. Not, not disrespected, but underestimated. Now I just get a forward, forward castle here. That, that is over. Uh, I've just been eating free monks all day with these two scouts. I think my scout gameplay I won the game here. Count attack. Smart idea. Smart idea. I have the best defenses in place. <sighs> That's not what I want to do. Not what I want to do now. I have to let me, let me deal with this first. Yeah, let me deal with that, and then I can actually start pushing. Finish that. Once again, he's a bit overzealous. What a game this has been. I saw him send villages this way, so I'm looking for those right now. There they are. That's a get out of my face castle if I've ever seen one. <laughs> oh, that was a nice game. <laughs> GG. <laughs> I told you, we got to get creative. We gotta get creative. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking with the 3TC boom though. He kind of just made 3TC on like the same st the same squ uh, square here. Oof. <laughs> the castle said 105 even if you wouldn't. True. <laughs> True. Very nice. Very nice. I don't know. I think he got really greedy with his economy. He he did a nice job sneaking a, a dock on the uh, sneaking a dock on the on my lake. That really gave him a good lead. That when I lost while I was over, I knew I had a chance on the land, and I knew I had a chance when he added a second TC. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's gonna probably go to YouTube. I have a lot of YouTube games though. I just have to get to it. Um, I got some. Uh, ooh, dude, wait, hold the phone. I'm gonna just give some shout outs here. Half this, thanks for the tier one. DZ came in with the tier three for three months. Yo, DZ, thanks for the tier three, man. I completely missed that. Thank you so much. Eight webs, thanks for the tier one gift to Gamelin. And then Polycarp, thanks for the tier one. Creativity, or King Arthur, thanks for the two dollars for the creativity. And then Yorius uh, Khan, thanks for the three months. Appreciate the support, guys. Nice little game there. That was not too bad at all. 69 bills, nice. See, I had more bills than him, even if he had uh, three town centers. That was pretty good. I'm doing well, Fata. How are you, bro? I am doing more than well. I have the demo now. Yes, the tier three hype. You win those, DZ. You absolutely win those. 